how big is the chasm between I'm able to use a simulator in Python or maybe it's even in C or I'm even able to get something onto some device and have it do stuff and your world of I'm writing professional embedded software for autonomous vehicles that go underwater and sense things like how, how big is that chasm? encouraging everybody come to embedded says it's not that bad you just read my book it's all fine <laughs> right <laughs> the real me um the real me has to admit that over-the-air updates are never going to be easy security is never going to be easy low battery all these things where you have like in toys where you have to shave off pennies so you end up with a processor that should not be able to do this much but you are packing in every Every piece of RAM, every cycle is spoken for. Mm. And that optimization, it's... Uh, people bring me their Arduino projects and they say, it works. All the features work most of the time. And I look at it and see all of the things that isn't going to work. 